morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever or wherever you are watching this, and welcome to my channel. I am Jeremy, and I am kicking off a series I am calling Honest Unboxings here today. And we're kicking it off with a bang to say the least because I am taking a look at the brand new Transformers The Movie 4K Collector's Edition set that was available exclusively from Zavi.com, produced by Funimation UK. Very much looking forward to seeing how this has turned out, as I'm sure a lot of people out there are too. Worth noting before I go any further, that this video is going to be split up into various chunks, and you can find the time codes for those here. So if you want to jump forward to a specific section, you can do just that. With that being said, let's get on and take a look at this. We kick things off with the product preview. In this section, I'm going to be looking through, be it a retailer's website or the actual company's own website, if they have the information documented there, to see what they have said, respectively, about the product in question I will be looking at. We're taking a look at Transformers, which, as I mentioned, this 35th anniversary 4K collector's set is a Zavi.com exclusive. It's also sold out, mind you. So we're going to have a look at the Zavi.com listing and see what they had to say about it. So, here we are on Zavi's website. As you can see, it's sold out, cost $39.99. Now, let's scroll down and see what the description has to say. So, the set includes one UHD disc and a Blu-ray disc with special features, so you get one disc of each. Six art cards, a poster by Matt Ferguson, an art book, and all of that is packed in a rigid box. When it comes to special features on the disc itself, I'm led to believe this is. We have the new 4K transfer, a new feature-length storyboard including deleted, alternate, and extended sequences, a new featurette including Stan Bush's acoustic performances of The Touch and Dare, classic songs, and a comprehensive documentary looking back at Transformers the movie. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing that. Audio commentary, featurette, animated storyboard, trailers, and TV spots. So now we take a look at the imagery that has been provided. This was the first pack shot that they have showed off on Zavi.com. As you can see, the front of the rigid case, we've got a preview of some of the art book in there, focusing specifically on Optimus Prime. And then we have the two discs there. I've got to say, I really like the way they've incorporated the matrix of leadership into the design of that disc. That is really good fun. And that is the... That is the 4K Blu-ray disc as well, because the one next to it is, uh, in fact, it says on there, if, I, if I'm if i reading that correctly from this, although it's a bit blurred, full-frame Blu-ray. Hmm, we'll have to see about that when we, when we can put a disc inside. Although I should note, I am focusing specifically on the physical content, not what's on the disc itself today. As we take a look at more of the uh, ex exploded pack shot, if you will, as it is phrased. So as you can see here, we have got... That is the front of rigid case again. We've got the six art cards that was mentioned in the description. We've got the poster designed by Matt Ferguson. Comes in an array case with the two discs inside. And then there is the booklet showing off two more pages as well. That a little bit closer there. So that is what they have said is going to be inside this packaging. With that being said, let's get inside. Now onto the unboxing portion of this video. We're going to look at the, at the product first of all with the cellophane around the box. So here is the front of it for you. There we go. And as I flip around to the back, as you can see here, we've got what appears to be a J card. I'll show you what that means in a few moments. And we've got the synopsis here. You've got a list of all the bonus features that we talked about in the product preview section. Film credits there. Now we get to technical information. Let's have a quick look at this. Ah, so interesting to note, the UHD disc is indeed region free. That's pretty much standard at this point. But the Blu-ray disc specifically is region B. And it doesn't actually highlight on there about the full frame aspect. So I'll be interested to see once we get inside. Another random tidbit for you, distributed by Manga Entertainment, but it's Funimation. That's because Manga Entertainment in the UK is now known as Funimation UK. Here is the spine of the box for you. Get a closer look at that for you. Oh, and we've got a cool little logo there, the 35 years of Transformers the movie. That's pretty cool, actually. I really like that. Here's what it will look like when it's on your shelf. And if I flip it around to the other side, you can see that there is the inside contents, which we'll be getting to in just a few moments' time. So we'll take a proper look at that in just a few moments. For those interested, here's how that will look vertically as well. So with that being said, let's get inside. So now let's get the cellophane off. There we go. Oh, actually, there's a nice little spot UV finish there, actually. I'm not sure if you can tell from there, but 
What I want to do first of all is to get this J card off. Now, how is... Okay, right, so we've got some glue dots. Now, my philosophy when it comes to glue dots is the slower, the better. Because you never know how, just quite frankly, sticky these glue dots are going to be. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen some interesting things happen with glue dots. And, oh, man, that's right on the corner. I'm going to take this extra slow. There we go. And then that one, well, that actually came away quite easily. And then we've got one more. Can I get this away easily? Oh, there we go, I think. Oh, yep, yep, there we go, good. Right, so, there's a rigid case. Well, I wanna, so this is what a J card is. It basically, in the shape of a J, when you look at it from the side, will go around the box, that's what that is. So, let's look at this now with the cellophane off. We've got a bit of a spot UV finish there on the Transformers logo. You can see that shining in the light there. I really like that. As we go to the side here, the spine once again. Here is a look at the back. Got a nice little spot UV finish on the Matrix there. I really like it. I kind of like, like the minimalist inspiration for this, actually. It, it works really well. I'm really liking it. And then have a look at the top spine. And then the side spine, because that's what's got all the content inside. And for those of you who want to keep track, that is what is underneath as well. So, with that being said... Let's have a look what is inside this. So we've got to split into three segments. Okay, what's this? What's... Oh. Right, you know what? I'll come back to those in a moment. Let's start with this. I see. Oh, uh, that's cool. So we've got a nice little sort of cardboard envelope here, which I'm assuming is going to have inside the poster and the art cards. That's a nice little touch, that. I like that, actually. And the fact it's branded as well is really nice. Now, that is the poster. So we'll come back to that in a few moments. But now, let's start with this. Got a nice little wallet here, which should have all six art cards inside. I'm doing this gently just because glue has uh, has wronged me before, as it were. So I'm just being extra careful in case something may have gone wrong during manufacturing. Not that in all honesty it probably would have done, but better to be safe than sorry. So let's take a look at these art cards one by one. You'll recognize that from the rigid case. Oh, that's what's on the back of each of these as well. So that's the first art card. There we go. So I like that piece of art. That's really nice. And we've got this image, which has been used on past Transformers the movie releases before, if memory serves. I love this image. That looks so good. And now we get a bit of a retro styling here. I think that's from the original release, maybe the VHS release. And then we get this image, which looks so good as well. Those are the six art cards. I'm really happy with those, actually. Got some good stock on them as well. So let's clear these out of the way. Now, let's have a look at this poster. So, there we go. Oh, in fact, that, that's really cool. That's actually like a retro-style poster as well, harkening back to the original UK release. You can see the U symbol on the poster there, just next to the word movie. And, uh, actually, wait a second. Hang on a minute, that's U. Was this not PG? Hang on, where's the, where's the box? Hang on. Oh, I've got the J card. Oh, that's, that's, that's a cool little touch. So for those of you that don't know, like, when the film originally came out, it had the word shit in it, basically. as a line of dialogue of, oh, shit, what are we going to do now? And then eventually they had to take that out to make it a U. Oh, wait, so this is double-sided, isn't it? <laughs> I totally forgot this was double-sided. I didn't even realise. That's a really nice poster. In a weird way, being the selfish, entitled fan that I am, I kind of wish this was two separate posters so I could put both of them on my wall because now I've got to decide which one I'll actually use. But both of those are really cool. I really, really like that. That's a nice touch. I like that. Now on to the art book. Now I'm hoping we're going to have some really cool art that's been used in perhaps past releases or just some archival stuff. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got inside. We've got introduction, Autobots, key art, Decepticons, and then key art once again. That's cool. I'll give that a more in-depth read very, very soon. But for the purposes of the video, I shall skip forward a page. Ah, oh, okay. This this looks to be really new art. I'm going to assume, and admittedly, I'm doing this without having properly looked into this, this might be some more new art created by Matt Ferguson. Those are the two pages that we saw in the product preview section. 
I do like this art though, actually. This looks really nice. This is now where Gloves is coming back to haunt me. Because I can't... T that image of RC is really cool. I really, really like that. That is a great piece of art. Look at Cup looking all happy. We got Grimlock there. That's really cool. They incorporated the quote onto that page as well. Now we get some original poster art there. Once again, proving that wearing gloves was perhaps not the best idea in the world for an unboxing, but here we go. Here's Megatron. Okay, that's interesting. So, it's the same image on both sides, but you've got the line art and then an actual sort of coloured-in version of it. That's a cool touch. I like that. Such heroic nonsense. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little touch on there as well. I like that. And then we have Galvatron. And once again, we've got the line art and then the coloured inversion. I'm liking that as a design choice, actually. That, that, I like that. That's working well. Once again, these gloves proving to be the better of me here. There we go. As you can see, we've got Unicron. Wait a second, hang on. Wait a minute. Unicorn? Really? <laughs> really? Unicorn? Unicorn is here! Oh man, that, oh, that's a that's a shame, but hey ho, oh, yeah. So now we have some really cool poster art here, some key art, key visuals. Actually, that's, that's a really cool image. I like that. The battle with Optimus and Megatron. And you you'll notice some of these art designs here are what were on the art card, so it's nice you have a couple of versions of those as well. And so there we go, and that is the art book, everybody. There we go. Now let's get on to this Amaray case. So, first of all, quick look at the spine. Then a quick gander at the back. Once again, all the special features. Synopsis and the technical information that we saw on the J card. I believe that this Amaray is available individually from retailers as well. So if you do want to order the film just on its own, you can do that. Once again on there, not mentioning about the full frame aspect of the disc. Right, let's get this cellophane off. That, this is... Hang on a sec. There you go. That was far stronger than I was expecting, but there we go. So, once again, here we go, front and back. Let's just open this straight up. We've got the two discs inside. Try and twist that around quickly. So, first of all, this is the 4K disc. We talked about this on the product preview page. I really like the way they've incorporated the Matrix into that design. That works really well. And then, uh, that does indeed say full frame Blu-ray. I'm guessing that means that that will be the 4.3 version of the film on the regular Blu-ray then. Hmm. And here's a really cool little extra for you, folks. So, there's a reversible sleeve, and this isn't advertised, but I think this is really cool, because this is this appears to be, like, the original VHS cover, but just reformatted and resized for this 4K UHD Blu-ray. That is a really cool touch. I am all about that. That is really cool. That's a nice touch. So there we go, folks. And now we come to my final thoughts, but first of all, an update on something which I think does actually add some more value to this overall package. Now, although I'm not actually going to be showing you any footage from the discs themselves, I did put both the discs in to my Blu-ray player, obviously the 4K disc into a 4K UHD Blu-ray player, to just check out what was what on the discs. And there is an interesting thing to note, which I do not see advertised anywhere on the actual packaging, technical information, anywhere itself. The 4K UHD disc, the movie, is in widescreen. Whereas on the regular Blu-ray, you remember at the beginning of the video when we were looking through the Zavi website, I said, I noticed that it said full frame Blu-ray. Kind of making me think, does that mean the film is going to be in 4x3? It is. So you do actually get two versions of the film. Obviously, on the 4K disc, that is the version that's got HDR, that is in widescreen. Also, of all the bonus features, it's only the audio commentary that is on the 4K disc, which is totally fine. That's pretty much standard for there to perhaps not be as many, if any, special features on 4K discs at this stage. It's not that it doesn't happen, it's just it's not uncommon at this point. 
So all the features, all the extra features, sorry, are on the regular Blu-ray disc, and you get the full framed version of the movie on the regular Blu-ray disc. What is interesting, and quickly flicking through some of the special features, some of the documentaries that are included, or it's probably all of them at this point, I haven't, again, not watched all of them at the time of recording this, the actual footage that's used from the film in the documentaries is in widescreen. Which, considering that's on the full-frame Blu-ray, it's a little bit inconsistent, but it's a tiny little niggle, to be fair. It doesn't make a difference in that respect. When it comes to the physical packaging, this is what I really wanted to focus on, primarily in this video. I actually think this is pretty good value for money. It, obviously, I mentioned it's sold out, so sorry, you can't get hold of it unless you can find it from elsewhere, or perhaps there are some extra copies lying around that Zavi find. But I actually think this is a very good package. I really like it as a big Transformers fan. I love the art that's included. I will say, when it comes to the art, it's only specifically mentioned in the advertising again on the Zavi website. In fact, you know what, let me just bring it up, hang on. So if we look on the Zavi website again, on the actual information, it only specifically mentions that it's Matt Ferguson's Transformers movie poster that's included. But there's actually far more of his art in this release than is actually mentioned in the advertising, which I think is something that needs to be mentioned, because Matt Ferguson's art is awesome. Like, all the art that you saw in the booklet, that is Matt Ferguson's art. I'm just going to switch back now. That is Matt Ferguson's art that's in the actual art book, and it looks really, really cool. But I will be honest... I was kind of clamoring for more original art. And again, that's not taking away from Matt Ferguson's art because I freaking love it. Like that image of RC was amazing that I pointed out when I was unboxing it earlier. There is just an element that I wish there was more original art in it. Having the reversible sleeve is really, really cool just to highlight some of that original art need. It's a really, really cool extra touch. But there is just this notion in my brain of there must have been more original art that could have been included. My only suspicion is that maybe there were probably some rights clearances or perhaps something else that just meant it couldn't have been used, which is totally understandable. I am perfectly content with that if that is the case. Again, no, it's just that little niggle. But obviously, if there is one glaring thing, which is in the grand scheme of things a tiny thing on this release, but it is present, so I've got to note it again. Unicorn. It should be Unicron. It's a little typo, but considering it is the main antagonist of the film and quite a legendary Transformers character, that's a pretty good slip-up. Which, during the QC process, is possible. Everyone's only human. It is just a shame of everything that could have got through. That was the thing that could have got through. It's just a shame in that respect. But again, it's not a deal-breaker. This package is really, really nice. And I'm really happy I've got it in my collection. I can't wait to watch everything on this. I've not watched the Transformers movie for quite a while, so I'm really, really intrigued to see how the 4K UHD transfer looks, perhaps compared to the regular Blu-ray version, and then checking out all the documentaries as well. I love the art cards. I'm debating what I'm probably going to do with them. I might try and put them in a frame or something just to display them really nicely. Also, I've got to say, I did like the way that the art cards and the poster, the double-sided poster, mind you, that caught me off guard, that I'd like the way they were con they were actually contained in that small envelope. That was a really nice touch and just a way to kind of keep them very clean and in there. So, yeah, overall, everybody, I am giving this release a thumbs up. I am very, very happy with the purchase, and I hope that this has helped you guys out as well as in terms of whether you perhaps wanted to get hold of it or if you have got hold of it but are waiting for it to arrive and such. But obviously it is sold out. However, there is something I do want to point out because I mentioned this is a Zavi exclusive, going back to the Zavi website for a second, because there is another version of this Transformers film that you can purchase on the Zavi website. And that is a 4K Ultra HD Steelbook edition with some really cool art there. I'm assuming by Matt Ferguson once again. Love that piece of art. And with it, you get both the Blu-ray and the 4K UHD Blu-ray disc in there as well. Obviously, you don't get the rigid case. You don't get the art book, the art cards, the poster that is in this one. But you do get all the on-disc contents as well. So if you're really interested in picking up the 4K version, you can do just that as well. And I would assume that there is a regular 4K UHD Blu-ray version available in general from retailers as well. 
With that being said, everybody, thank you very much for checking out this video. Let me know what you think. If you've got any disagreements about what I've said, I'd be very interested to hear it. This is the first time I'm doing this, so if you've got any notes or constructive criticism, I'd love to hear it, because I want to do more of these. It, doing unboxings is something I've done for quite a while in a professional capacity. And this is something now that I want to do more in a personal capacity. So doing something like this is something I really enjoy doing. I would love to give some more honest thoughts, as it were. That's why I've called this an honest unboxing, because I can actually really add my own thoughts to this now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I mean, if you, you know, just let me know what you think. <laughs> I'd love to hear from you guys. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Jeremy Graves. Take care and have a nice day.